A North Queensland sugar town devoid of art galleries or exhibitions is getting a colourful makeover, one street at a time. Power poles are a blank canvas for an artist who's immortalising the local legends of Lucinda. For David Rowe, this beaten up ute tray is a studio on wheels. Each morning he picks a new roadside canvas in the sleepy seaside village of Lucinda. It's really nice to get down here early in the morning and actually paint, it's nice. And, and no one's telling you what to do, I haven't got a boss, it's great. <laughs> the artist has been commissioned to beautify the sugar town by painting its power poles. Yeah, yeah, you walk in, yeah, it's like the Louvre, walk around and in amongst everybody and have a look at the bowl. Yeah, not quite like the loo, but anyway, just as important, but. <laughs> 20 years after David Rowe first painted the poles, he's back to give his weathered masterpieces a refresh. Some of them you could hardly see the picture and you were looking at them and they just looked horrid, you know? They looked sad. It's been Yarsi plus a few other cyclones, but the best part about it, none of them has been graffitied, not one of them. The theme is fishing, with a few local identities in the mix. One is Walter Putzka, a mackerel fisherman who died of cancer this year. His wife says a tribute outside the family home keeps his memory alive. Now in 20 years time, if we look after it, it, he'll still be here looking like this. And I think that's fantastic. Painting by the roadside means David often has to put his brushes down for a chat. It's funny, you paint away and and someone turns up, a little old lady turns up and she decides to tell you all her problems and you say, yes, love, yes, love. And it's kind of, it's a nice community down here. A community reflected in its unusual works of art. Chloe Shimiki, ABC News, Lucinda.